I'm super excited to be here because I have a bunch of junk around me that I'm here to show you today. So, um, listen, I'm obsessed with thrifting and I've been thrifting pretty much since I was in high school. Um, I'm in my 30s now, so that's a long time. But I've only just started, I want to say in the last year, maybe two years, um, really going to a lot of estate sales. And I'm so sad that it took me this long to get into estate selling because that's the best treasure. Um, so basically what I have around me is the contents of like three estate sales. Um, yeah, just kind of showing you some stuff that I got. Okay. Um, so we went to a really cool kind of like grungy estate sale. And that is one thing that I will say is like when you go to estate sales, um, a lot of the time you have to take your time because it can feel kind of crazy because everyone's like running around you and like getting really excited and you have to be careful that you don't just get like wrapped up in the insanity of it all and just like buy a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need or is broken um, or is overpriced. So you have to be kind of careful. I definitely get wrapped up in the excitement and the insanity of estate sales sometimes and buy things I really shouldn't buy. Um, but I will say that my best finds I think that I've ever found have all been at estate sales. So worth it. Okay. So we usually have to go pretty far to go to estate sales. The best ones that I've been to are usually about a two hour drive. Um, we live in Florida, so we have to drive pretty much to the middle of the state, kind of like to the middle of nowhere where all the good loot can be found. So um, I'm just gonna kind of pick and choose random stuff that I have sitting around me. Um, yeah, so we went to this um, estate sale of these elderly people and unfortunately they definitely were hoarders. I don't like to use the word hoarder, I like to say collector, but it, it, it was wild. The estate sale director said that the family had actually um, thrown away four or five huge um, dumpsters worth of stuff before they even called the estate sale company in, which is crazy. And then they had the estate sale by appointment because it was like during this whole like COVID insanity. So it was appointment only. And when I saw the listing for the estate sale, they had already had been doing appointments for like two weeks. So I definitely thought it was going to be a huge bust and not worth it to go, but we hadn't gotten out of the house in so long. I was like, whatever, fine, let's just go. So we went and um, everything was pretty filthy. Like I had to like scrub everything and I did get some stuff that was broken that I didn't notice was broken because it was so dirty. Yuck. Um, but I also got some really cool stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this camel. Um, he is brass and I believe he's a spoon holder if you look at him. Um, but I think he'd be really great to hold purses. Like you could put the purses through the purse, like through there or scarves or even belts would be really neat. Like you could put the belt like through here, or the scarf through here, but I just thought he was so cool. Like I loved how much detail he was. So pretty neat old guy. So for now, I'll probably hold on to him. Um, I am a reseller on Etsy, so I do have a lot of this stuff listed. And if you are like interested in something, hit me up because I am willing to let things go. I do have a tendency to want to hold on to stuff, but I'm willing to let things go if somebody really wants it. Um, so for now, the camel, he is staying with me. So I'll put him over there. Um, I guess I'll show you a few things that are like things I kind of wanted to keep for myself, which is bad. Um, the next thing is this purse. So I've always um, wanted a really big needlepoint purse. I have a lot of small ones and I've listed a few small ones in my shop in the past, but I have never found one that's this big that's just like solid needle point. So um, the strap is just like a little string. So I think what I wanna do is find like an old vintage um, pearl necklace and use that as a new strap, but it doesn't, this, the string doesn't bother me, um, it works. And then this is a clasp, it opens like this, and then there's the inside. And it's actually really clean, which is nice because sometimes like 
with these old purses, people would put their lipsticks in the bottom and then you know what happens. They get all stained and gross. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is something that I just like have been using a lot. It's so fun to wear something like this with like ripped jeans and like a little like t-shirt or something and then just add like that element of granny chic. I don't know, love so much. So that guy is staying with me. I can't let that go, but yeah, maybe one day, you know, sometimes you hold on to stuff for a while and you're like, I'll never sell this. And then just one day you're like, yeah, I'll let it go. Um, recently I went to this amazing estate sale, um, of this old historic house that was on the water. So it was like untouched since the fifties, all the original kitchen, kitchen, bathroom, like the beautiful, like black and like mint green bathroom. <sighs> so pretty. Um, like from the forties, I want to say forties, fifties, like old, beautiful, um, and right on the water. So stunning. Um, and I got some really cool stuff from them. Um, I got this tray. So it's got really pretty inlay wood. Um, and it's pretty big. And what's actually really funky about it is if you turn it over, it's actually a music box. However, I can't get it to work, so it's probably broken. Um, but I am thinking about maybe seeing if someone can fix it because I just think it's the coolest thing to have like a giant tray like this that's also a music box. Who knew? Um, I thought that would be like really, really neat also like in a bedroom or something. I don't know, I love trays. I, I love trays. I always pick up cool trays when I find them. All right. Um, so I am willing to let that go if somebody like wants it, but for now I'm definitely not going to like list it in my Etsy because I, I love it. Yeah. So apparently I'm just showing you like all the things I want to keep right now <laughs> after I'm like, oh guys, let me know if you want something that I'm like, never mind, It's all mine. <laughs> all right. So the next thing is this little original watercolor. Um, I love the colors because it's very muted um, and I've been really into kind of like more neutral tones. I've always been into like autumnal tones, so like oranges and reds, but like not like red red, like dark maroon kind of colors. I love um, like mustard yellow is one of my favorite colors. And then I really like like 70s, like avocado greens and, and pretty much all green tones. but. Um, it's just this really pretty little watercolor and it is actually dated 1893. So that's pretty cool. So again, this is another thing that I don't have actively listed because like I kind of want to keep it, but if somebody really wants it, I might be willing to part with it. So yeah, really cool when you find like those really old art pieces. Here's another neato um, piece of art. So this is a vintage watercolor. Um, and I, again, like I just loved the tones on this. I loved like the bright orange and yellow, but then also with like this kind of muted background, it just is really pretty. And I loved the frame. I just thought the frame was so cool. Um, it does have like a little like where it's missing the corner. It's framed behind glass, so it doesn't really affect it, but I mean, if anything, I think it's kind of cool that it's a little bit shabby, but I don't know. I'm also a weirdo, so. Um, I thought that was super pretty. This is listed in Etsy, so look at me <laughs> actually being willing to sell something. Um, okay, then I have this little planter. I just thought she was cute. She's like, um, she's by Opco, um, and she's from the 50s. Just cute little girl. She is listed on Etsy, so hopefully she'll find a forever home. Um, then I found this cool horse hook. So I'm always into neat brass when I can find it for a good price and hooks are just so useful. Like everybody really likes hooks because you could put this anywhere in your house, add a little bit of interest and it's just, you could do so much with it. Um, so again, like I really liked how detailed this guy was. He looks like an Arabian and like if you look at the saddle, um, he definitely looks like he's got Middle Eastern kind of saddle on him, which is so fun. 
um, which also makes sense, right? Because he's probably from India. So anyway, he's really cool. He is listed in our Etsy also. So willing to let that little friend go. Um, then I have this compote. So I've been getting into like a little bit more feminine stuff, which is not really like me because I'm kind of like, I would say that generally my taste is kind of like eclectic, but like a little bit masculine. Like if you look behind me, that's kind of like my style. Um, but I don't know, like I've been really into things that are like kind of dainty. So this is super pretty. It's hand painted and it's like a nice heavy glass, which is good um, for your vanity. So it wouldn't be easy to topple over. And I just thought it would be really cool with like cotton balls in it or something. I don't know. I really liked it. Um, it does have a little chip on it though, which again is kind of like what I was talking about with estate sales is sometimes you just like grab stuff without thinking and then you don't notice. So I really did not notice that this was chipped until I washed it. Um, and that happens to me all the time. So try for that not to happen to you. Um, it, you can't tell it's chipped when it's closed, which is nice. It's only on the inside. Um, and I do have this listed on Etsy. All right. Another little feminine thing I found is this little trinket box. And I just loved the blue with the flowers. I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. It's not marked on the bottom, um, but it's in good condition. There's no like chips or anything, which is nice about it. And I just was really... I don't know like I was just really fond of it I love this color blue I just thought and I like this weird funky shape I just thought it was so cool so I don't know um this also is on our Etsy so that's good look at me willing to let things go every once in a blue moon um I did pick up this planter it does have like a um it has like a crack down the side so I'm probably not going to list it just because there's not going to be that much value in it when there's like a crack on it, but I thought it was so pretty. Um, I loved like the painting, especially like the painting on the top is like pretty unique. I don't see that a lot in planters, so I just thought it would be kind of cool. Like it would vibe really well with like what I got going on. I always pick up planters if I can find them for a good price because I love plants. <sighs> I've been doing pretty good about not killing them, but I, yeah, I love killing plants too, apparently. <laughs> but um, I like I like picking up planters because they're useful. So I'm probably going to keep this just because there's not like that much value in selling it. But I would be willing to let it go if someone really wanted it. But it's not in perfect condition by any means. Okay. Um, then I have these two little um, prints. They're really cool. So they're from the 50s. And just like a little pair. I don't know. I just thought they were so pretty and that they would look so nice on a gallery wall. Um, so these are listed on our Etsy. So that's good. And I really liked them. And if you are interested in anything, um, our Etsy is linked below, so you can check it out if you want to. Um, no pressure. Oh, this is random, but um, I picked up a couple of vintage rulers. I actually like really like old school supplies. I collect old school supplies. I think it's just the teacher in me that I really like school supplies. I don't know, I've always liked school supplies. But our office, I like to sort of decorate it with old school supplies. So um, I've been trying to collect a bunch of old um, rulers so I can put them in like a big vase and just have like a whole thing of old rulers. So I thought that would look cool. So I pick them up whenever I can find them um, for pretty cheap, random, but. All right, these are really special. So again, I don't have them listed yet because I just love them. Um, I would be willing to let them go, but I just thought they were so beautiful. Like, look at these guys. So they are, these are hand painted. Um, they are also signed on the back. Um, the frames are brass. 
and the frames are just so intricate and they're just so small and beautiful I just oh gosh I just think they're so beautiful so I don't know I've been really into landscapes lately I'm usually like mostly want to have like animals <laughs> everywhere but I've been really into really natural landscape type paintings lately so I've been picking those up when I can find them and so those two little paintings are just so precious and I love their frames sometimes the frames really gets you too if the frames cruddy then it's not so much fun if the art is even if the art's really pretty um, then I just picked up these two little vintage Japanese, um, this little trinket box, and then the matching little ring dish. So I did list these two together because I thought they would be so pretty together on a vanity. Like you could use this for bracelets or makeup, and then this could have like smaller things like earrings, and I just thought they looked really cool together. Um, so those two are listed on Etsy but this guy does have like a little chip, not like a chip, but like he's missing like part of the lip on the inside of the box. I don't think that really changes the value that much. I don't know, like, I just think it's pretty. So I don't know, kind of random. I don't usually pick up stuff like that because um, I feel like I don't know that much about it. And I definitely hesitate to pick up things that I don't know um, a lot about because I could be paying way too much or paying way too little or I don't know. So I don't usually pick up um, things that have markings like that I can't necessarily read. So that was a little bit out of the box for me, but it's so pretty that I just couldn't leave it. Okay, um, I got some more stuff over here. So, this little guy still has his price on him. Ugh, I'll take it off just so you can see. He was $4 if you are interested. Um, it's this little owl picture. What's cool about it though is the whole thing is ceramic. Like, can you hear that? The entire picture is ceramic. So, it looks like it's framed, but it's actually not. It's just all one piece. Um, and it's this tawny owl and I really love owls. Um, oh, I love owls. So I had to get this. I just thought it was so cool. Like he's so cool. So yeah, picked him up. Um, oh, I have a little bit of jewelry that I got. I don't buy tons of jewelry. I used to. Um, I love jewelry, so I used to buy it all the time when I was only shopping for myself. Um, but when I'm shopping for our sh our store, like our Etsy shop, I'm a lot more picky as far as jewelry because sometimes it can be pretty expensive and then you don't know if you can necessarily, or for me, like I don't know if I can necessarily recoup what I've spent on things because I have kind of weird tastes. Like I like funky stuff, so. Sometimes my weird jewelry that I like can sit in Etsy for a long time because I don't know, I like weird stuff. All right, so I'll show you a couple things I got. Um, this is a little sterling silver um, Native American hair clip. So I'm, it is um, stamped sterling and it does have a little piece of turquoise. So that's pretty cool. I've actually been wear, wearing this quite a lot where you just kind of like do a messy bun and then just instead of using a hair tie, you just sort of stick this in um, and it just kind of creates like sort of a, it kind of gives you that messy bun look because it's very loose and pretty. Um, so, I mean, obviously if I can find like Native American stuff, I'll always get that, but you can't always find that. Then I got this little necklace and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, because I am afraid that it is ivory and so obviously I do not condone at all um, ivory and I feel like if I find it I shouldn't resell it because then it's just like kind of perpetuating it and putting it back into the, the earth 
Um, it's very old, so it's certainly not like something anybody bought recently. Um, it's obviously something somebody bought before um, they realized that it's just not okay. But I really just thought it was so pretty. So I was like, well, it was, it was in a whole grab bag. So I just kind of have it now, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. So I just, you know, just showing it. I just have it. I'll probably just stow it away so that it doesn't get resold. Then I found this really cool um, pendant. So it's really nice and chunky. It's, it is sterling. Um, and it has a cross on one side that's very pretty. And then it has these really cool birds on this side um, with this tree. So that was very exciting. I was really, really over the moon to find that piece because that is very special. Okay. Then just randomly, I got this little cloisonne fish. Um, he's a little pendant. So I thought he would be really neat to do like, people have been doing like sort of charm necklaces and charm bracelets lately. So I thought he would be kind of fun for that. So I just scooped him up. I really like cloisonne, like I really, really like it. If there was anything that I would collect as far as like vases and like stuff like that, like I'm not really that into glassware, but ooh, I would collect cloisonne. So that's kind of maybe the next thing on the horizon for me of things that I'm always looking for is cloisonne. Then I found these really funky um, little earrings. They are from the 1940s. They are screw back. Um, and I believe they're from Hawaii. So they're these little like Hawaiian guys with this really cool like turquoise and gold detail on like their little hat. So they're really fun to wear. Um, and they're made of wood and they're hand painted. So just really funky. I don't know. I really liked them. And then um, this little tiny micro mosaic pin. Um, I do collect these. I don't have many. I only think I have like three or four. Um, but I have them on a pillow because I just think they're so pretty. So whenever I find micro mosaics, I scoop them up if they're inexpensive. If they're, you know, usually like $3 is kind of the most I want to pay for a pin, especially since it's just going to sit on a pillow. Um, so if they're a lot more than that, then I usually probably won't scoop them up. But I just thought that was really, really pretty. I think I paid $4 for this one um, with probably like a 20% off discount. So, so yeah, that's it for the jewelry. Um, put all of it back in its little dish. Okay. So then the next thing is this little set. Um, I loved this because like I was saying before, I'm not super feminine. Um, so I loved that this was kind of like this black and white mixed with floral. So it's kind of like the perfect mixture of like vintage shabby, like sort of, but it's also like kind of modern where it's like the black and white stripes, but you also have like the, the cool old like vintage flowers. And I loved that they were a set um, and they are marked made in Japan. So these were, this was really cool. Um, they're not listed in Etsy yet, but I will be listing them, but I really like them. <laughs> I just think they're so cool. I think this would be so pretty on a vanity, just like this little guy, like he's so cute. I don't know. I really, really liked those guys. And I liked how the, the top, is sort of not a perfect square. I don't know, I just thought that was neat. Okay. Then the next thing is this really cool um, Polish art. So I really loved the frame on this too. It's all carved and just so pretty. And then the art itself is, what they do is they take paper cutouts that they've cut and they layer them to create these really pretty flower details. So I'm just super in love with how this looks. It's just so funky and original. Um, oh, it's just beautiful. 
So this sadly did sell today on Etsy. So that's another reason why I'm filming, finally getting around to filming this video is I'm like, oh, all right, well, the, the Polish art sold. So we got to do a video so that we can show everything before this goes to its new home. Um, but really, really pretty. So very excited for the new owner of that piece. I think somebody bought it as a, as a housewarming gift for a friend. So that really like, you know, pulls at your heartstrings, makes you happy. Um, okay, so then I have another piece of art. This guy is really cool. Um, I wanna say it's probably like 1940s maybe. Um, it has this really nice old composite gold frame and then it's an original oil painting of flowers so I just thought this was so pretty I like the the oval shape I don't see that too often and I also like the big funky old frame and when you turn it over I mean you can tell how old this piece is so very excited about this guy this would be so neat um as like a a big piece in a gallery wall I don't know it's just really pretty so that is listed in our Etsy as well okay oh I picked up a book the other day um I love nature books obviously I love nature so um anytime I can find old nature guides um I always pick them up and for some reason I really love this color green it just like speaks to me and a lot of the time they are this color green so I have like a huge stack of <laughs> old green books but that is okay um, the the number one thing I look for when I look for these old books is I look for the graphics so I don't like anything um, that has photographs in it I almost always only buy them when they have like art in them so I just thought that this was absolutely phenomenal the entire thing is in color which is really rare for an old book and it's chock full of photos um, the original publishing was like in the 40s and then this one was the original publishing I think was like 42 and then this one was from 52 so it's really cool to think that like in 1952 they did this old book um, all these colors and um, that the original art was from the 40s so really really love this um it's just so neat look at the cover like oh it's just so good like always look at the books at estate sales i do anyway all right so back on books i also picked up a few little of these golden guides um i do collect these so i picked up fishes i picked up trees I picked up seashores and um, mammals. I already have quite a few mammals, but I always pick them up when I see them because they're just really fun. This one's really funny because it actually has like newspaper clippings um, from the original owner, which I think is pretty hilarious. They're like coupons literally a coupon for a turkey dinner random cute all right then the next couple things I got I went to this really cool sale where um the woman collected hand mirrors and <laughs> I'm so sad I didn't go on the first day. Sometimes you just get duped by the pictures and you just don't like think that you should go on the first day because the first day is really crazy of an estate sale. <sighs> but I really regretted not going on the first day, but that's okay. She decorated all her bedroom wall and her bed, her bathroom in hand mirrors. Like she used hand mirrors to decorate the walls, like the walls were covered in hand mirrors. So they left a lot of them up just for like the look so you could kind of see but I went on the second day and by then they had pulled a lot down so people could kind of easily pick out which ones they wanted so they had them marked at um 
I think $5 a piece. So I bought three. I actually already sold one, um, but I'll show you the other two I got. So um, I got this really nice Art Deco, which I just really loved the flowers on it. It's just something very like muted and simple, but also when you look at the handle, it's just very old and ornate and just so pretty. So I'm probably gonna list this in Etsy. I just haven't yet. Um, and then the other one I got is a keeper. It's one I'm gonna keep for myself. Um, it's just phenomenal. So it's this antique stag. And then if you look at the handle, it's just absolutely beautiful with this flower. Um, and I just love the stag. And actually the outside of it has like a fake wood appearance. Um, the inside is also like, show you, hello, hello. Um, kind of this like antique looking mirror. So really pretty. Oh my goodness. I just love this. So I'm going to have to keep this guy for myself. Order town over here. All right. Um, the next thing is another tray. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I found this on the second day. But I also have to think too that sometimes what I'm looking for at estate sales is very different from what other people are looking for. So I get lucky in that case. Um, in our area, a lot of the time people actually go to estate sales looking for just like regular household stuff. Like they're looking, they're buying like the paper towels and the cleaning supplies. And you know, you can get that stuff at an estate sale for nothing, like pennies. So I can understand why people would wanna do that because you can save a whole bunch of money on like trash bags and just like basic necessities, but your girl is not there for trash bags. I am there for the antiques and the vintage. So I'm always looking at all the cool old stuff. So then um, the next thing is this neat old um, tray. So, oh, there's such a bad glare, but it has an insert that is two hand painted owls. Um, and this was such a cool estate sale because it was in a, this is, was at the same estate sale of the hand mirror lady. And she was an artist and she had this, her house was so cool. She had a spiral metal staircase that brought you up to her studio. And then that's where she like did all her painting. So I believe this was probably one of her paintings that she then put in an old tray. But either way, I just thought it was so pretty and unique and funky. Um, so the, the video is just really not doing it justice because it's um, reflecting and looking like really annoying. But anyway, it's really, really pretty. So I'm excited for this. I'm also excited for how big it is because it's gonna be really nice, like a nice vanity tray um, and can hold a whole bunch of stuff. So that is fun. Okay, all right, we're doing pretty good. I only have a couple more things. Um, I found this brass decanter. Um, so is the price on it. Um, I just loved its shape. I thought it was so pretty. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I just thought it was really cool. I feel like a lot of the brass that I find is kind of minimal and maybe like mid-century. And I don't know, I feel like this is actually possibly older than that. Um, it's definitely, it. it's not marked on the bottom, so I'm not sure, but it's really, really intricate and beautiful. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I probably will list that in our Etsy. I just, again, like I haven't been listing all the treasures in Etsy because if they stay with me for a little bit longer, it's not the end of the world, you know? All right, then the next thing is this beautiful cut glass um, little piece. Um, it's pretty spectacular, honestly. Um, it's in perfect condition, which is rare. Um, I love the top. 
Let's see if I can keep it in perfect condition. That would be delightful. All right, so the top has this really pretty cut glass and you can you can sort of see through it, which is just awesome. Um, the bottom looks like that. And then it has like the cut green glass all around it and the hand painted flowers. So it's pretty spectacular. Um, this was another thing I found on the second day of the sale and they were like, the girl, the ladies that were running the sale are so cute. They were like, we don't know why that's still here. Like, how did somebody not scoop that up? And I'm like, I don't know, but it's mine. So really excited about that. Probably going to hang on to that for a little bit. I don't know. Um, I don't collect glass, but I do love green. So we'll see. Um, let me know if you like have to have it. We can talk. Um, all right. And then the last thing, well, okay. So almost the last thing I do have a couple of cool pieces of vintage clothing that I just like, couldn't show you over here in this corner. It just wouldn't do them justice. So I'm going to, um, take you to them and we'll end there. But the last thing until then is this cool picture. So this, um, is like my most favorite thing that I got, I think, at that hoarder estate sale. I love owls, like I was saying before, and there's just something like funky and like Halloween-y about them. Like I collect vintage Halloween, like old Halloween, like 30s, 40s, 50s Halloween, and there's just something creepier about it. I don't really know why, um, but I just love these three on a branch in front of the moon. They are painted on silk, so they are hand painted. And look at like this cool, funky, like art deco old frame. It's like in terrible shape and it just makes me so happy. So, and I just love how detailed and like spooky looking that picture is. So really excited about these guys. But yeah, those three are probably gonna have to stay with me. But yeah, you never know. You never know. All right, I'm gonna show you the clothes and then sayonara. All right, so I figured it would be way easier to show you the clothes because they are um, long over here. So the first is like, first of all, it's this thick, beautiful material, but look at these sleeves, look at the eyelet, look at the embroidery, like you guys. It's just stunning. So it's a two piece, it's this little blouse and then this long skirt, let's see if I can. It's a super long skirt with this pretty blouse. Like how, wouldn't that be the most amazing like boho wedding dress that ever existed? There's no way that that would ever fit me, it's super tiny. It doesn't look super tiny, but it is super tiny. But oof, it's so pretty. Absolutely stunning. Um, so I'll probably put that on Etsy and eBay. And then the other item is pretty hilarious. It's so funny, but it's so cute. So this is another set that I very much wish would fit me because it's delightful. Um, but it's this vintage little vest see the buttons Look at the skirt and the skirt buttons all the way down so the skirt is amazing like how cute would this skirt be just with like a graphic tee honestly so cute um and it's super old Abercrombie and Fitch like hilarious it's a size 12 so I'm like okay is it like a kid size 12 because it's so small but I don't know, hilarious and also delightful. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my haul of all my treasures. Um, if you are interested in like a estate sale tips and tricks, I definitely have learned a lot in the last year or so. So if you're interested in any estate sale tips or tricks, let me know and I would be happy and excited to do that video. So let me know.
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, bye.